Yes, it's going to be tough to read this. <laughs> I didn't learn anything about Scrooge because I knew about Scrooge since I was a kid. He's an evil son of a gun who turns up with a heart of gold at the end, and that's, <laughs> that's it. Humbug. What is? Christmas. <laughs> what about it? Well, I mean, what is it but an excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December? Scrooge is part of our growing up, because I grew up in an English kind of household. Um, and all my family had grown up on Scrooge, and some of them had actually seen Dickens' lecture um, and tell stories. So you took it for granted that it was part of Christmas cheer. Yeah, keep going. A time for paying bills without money. A time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. <laughs> if I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own plum pudding and buried with a steak of holly through his heart he should. I watched it and heard it. I said from Reginald Owen to Lionel Barrymore to Alistair Sim to all those great, great Scrooges that and it doesn't matter who you, if you play Scrooge, you can use yourself. So there's never any sort of um, kind of compar odious comparison about it. Uh, you fall right naturally into your own version of, of King Lear or uh, what, whatever. <laughs> King Lear or Scrooge, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I love my work. I love what I do. And I'm so sorry for the majority of people who do not like their jobs and can't wait to retire, which of course is death. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll never retire. I hope to, to drop dead on stage. That's what I really want to do.